General McLeod, remember that bomb we lost? Which one, Sergeant Flint? We're the U.S. military! We lose bombs every day! Uh, it's the one that looks like a big alarm clock. Well, it's been activated. Fantastic! A depressed fifth grade teacher has brought his class on a field trip! They're gonna love watching an island explode! Welcome to the tour! It's your lucky day! You get to watch an island blow up! Have a complimentary juice box! <laughs> General McLeod, the island's inhabited! It's Turner! He's about to be destroyed for real! Suddenly I feel alive again! We can't blow up a populated island, Linda! Besides, there's an elf on it! We'll all end up on Santa's naughty list! Deactivate that bomb, Sergeant! Oh no, Timmy's fish are dead! Oh, what are we going to do? There's only one thing you do with dead things. Flush them down the toilet! That's what I did with Timmy's pet boa constrictor and the old toilet after it died. I prepared a heartfelt and moving speech. Ahem. <clears throat> Adios, Timmy's fish! <laughs> Flush my lawnmower down the toilet too. It died last week. Have fun. <laughs> Looks like we lost another one. Uh, meow. Uh. Adios, Catman. This rat suit is dead to me. Okay, Zappy. Now just be very quiet until Mother comes in. I've been pumping the old bed full of lemonade all day long. Boy, will she be surprised! <laughs> Zapped by an eel with my hand in the toilet. I've made some bad choices in my life. Am I the only one in this house who respects animals? It's flush time! For the last time, Turner, I'm still alive. You're dead to me, Dinkleberg! Well, okay. Hey And our trip to the Big Apple? Ah! And our trip to Dragon Country Safari? It's time to get rid of these monsters! I don't know what the big deal is. It's not like they can get out. <laughs> a monster! Yay! Help, Mr. Crocktock! There's a monster trying to snag my sandwich! Really? Describe it! It's bologna and Swiss on pumpernickel. Not the sandwich, you moron! The monster! He, uh, he looks like a cross between an ugly dog and a hairless kangaroo. Oh, and he's sucking on a goat! It's a chupacabra! The legendary Mexican goat sucker! What a scoop! Give me your name and address. My name is Timmy Turner's dad, and I live at Timmy Turner's house. <laughs> hey, Mr. Croc Doc, please help me! Sorry, no time for autographs. I've got good news and bad news, Mr. Croc Doc. The good news is the chupalupa thingy spit me out. The bad news is I'm covered in corrosive stomach acid. <laughs> Watch the cold cuts! Ah, oh, yeah. Help! Stop! I blame mother! Yeah. My monsters are gone! The monsters were never seen in Dimsdale again! Do you wish your cocker spaniel was a talker spaniel? Or your seeing eye dog was a speaking mouth dog? Well, I can help! I'm Timmy's dad, and I can talk to animals! Watch me have a conversation with this bloodthirsty African lion! Hello, what's your name? Use your words! Uh, <laughs> 
Welcome back to The Animal Talker, starring me, Timmy's dad, and my Python co-host, Ed McMahon Eater. Why, yes, Ed, I have put on a few pounds. I've been eating a lot of big, fat chicken. Anyway, my guest today is Sparky the Hero Dog. Make room for Sparky, Ed. That's not what I meant. Don't worry, Chet. I'll handle this. I can talk to animals. <laughs> That's not a panda. Pandas are cute. That's some kind of Chinese bear. And I don't speak Chinese. <laughs> animals of the wild, save me. <laughs> not you, Ed McMahon Eater. Go eat Dinkleberg. Fired a missile. No, don't worry. We've got five more. Activating Fish Finder. Fish Finder, find one. Which one? No, one. No one? How can I find no one? I've got a missile with your name on it, you stinking Fish Finder. As I win that shiny trophy by catching one. Which one? repaired my trusty fairy flyer. With this baby, they'll never see me tailing them from high in the sky. Ha! I'm like a hooked angel of doom. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Charlie horse. <laughs> Once I get that wand, my first wish will be for a little muscle development below the waist. Ha! Ah, there's the wand. All I need to do is carefully maneuver my fairy flyer and deftly snatch it from that reporter. <laughs> Just dirty rain. I have to toss this useless fairy wand into a vat of acid in slow motion. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for those meddling kids. <laughs> we are going to annihilate the Earth unless you throw us a formal dinner party. Settle for a rubber chicken from my clown suit? No! Prepare to be destroyed! That's enough! There is no dinner, and now there will be destruction! Ed! Hmm. It just 
just doesn't feel the same. Here, put these on. Uh, still no good. Without Turner to humiliate, my life has lost all meaning. I don't feel like a man anymore. I feel like a woman named Linda. Ah, Linda broke her fingernail. So fake fairies, I bet you think your costumes are so great. Well, check this out. My wand can do magic. Ooh. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, all our wands can do is this. <laughs> Who comes dressed as a pile of mousetraps? Seriously! Big fairies. Ready for round two? Beware my magical fairy lightning bolts. Magically painful, aren't they? Ooh, I think I can top that. <laughs> You're Mr. Crocker, hideous. I heard that. Yeah!